Hugh Martins. Must have been five years ago. But I still remember it as if it were only yesterday. My last mission as Lieutenant of the Military Services for International Control. If it wasn't for Hugh, I wouldn't be here today. It's time to repay the debt. Hugh! Joshua, it's been a long time. Too long. What's the score? Always straight to the point. Okay. Terrorists have targeted the Genesis cryogenetic enterprise. Up to now, we haven't been able to stop them. So, where do I come in? I figured you could succeed where others have failed. My position as city governor is at risk. Genesis was my major supporter at the last election. And if I don't get results soon, I'll be history. Okay, so why these attacks on Genesis? Who knows? There seems no apparent motive. But I think they're attacking Genesis to get at me. Yeah, you've made some dangerous enemies. Comes with the territory. Anyway, we infiltrated the terrorists. My top officer, Simon Ruby, went in. His cover as a journalist seems secure, but... What went wrong? It's not clear. We've had no contact with him since yesterday, and that's not Simon's style. You think they got to him? We don't know. I hope not. We found these in his car. Traveling light? It's all we have. Joshua, I'd like you to start at his apartment. See what else you can find. Let's assume I find these terrorists. What then? We'll give you a new identity. I'll add your name to the police database. Your cover will be a guy from New Orleans working in the field of integrated security systems. This guy stole some documents from Genesis. With this cover, you should be able to infiltrate the group. Good. What should I do if I get to them? Do nothing. Lie low and let me know where you are. At that point, you'll need serious backup. Take this. Use it to contact me when the time is right. Okay, Hugh. I'll do my best. After all, I owe you one. Later. piece of foil paper. Probably from cigarettes or gum that some louse dropped. Damn, it's not working. Damn, I overdid it. It's the elevator. Okay, done. This should do the trick. Okay. The security system requires a card. Hugh gave me rubies. It's one of rubies.
Much more, Mr. Ruby. Great. It thinks I'm Ruby. To my apartment. No point in hassling the neighbors. It's Ruby's apartment that I'm interested in. No use trying to force it. It's too strong. This apartment appears to be empty, which is very strong. Perhaps if I used it correctly, it might work. Yet more security. It's a magnetic reader, used to open the door to the apartment. Good idea. But first I want to be sure that this is Ruby's apartment. No use trying... It says, 17. S. Ruby. Nah, I could try with Ruby's signature, but I'm not... Much more, Mr. Ruby. Up to the roof. The map is large and fairly detailed. Hmm. A map of the structure. There are eight floors of apartments and a subway entrance in the basement. It's locked tight. It's one of Ruby's letters returned to sender. It's got a signature on, too. Much more, Mr. Ruby. To my apartment. Hmm. It says Rotmal, 17, 11.55 p.m. I'll take the vodka. Seems a shame to leave it. Hmm. It's a subway card. It's a Union Metro subway card. It's Ruby with a gorgeous brunette. I'm no fashion guru, and neither was Ruby. 
Ruby was certainly cautious. There's a safe hidden here. It's an empty glass, but it's obviously been used recently. Hmm, a hint of vodka. Hugh never mentioned Ruby liked the booze. Cool, a small key was hidden under the tape. An old revolver and a tube containing some kind of liquid. It's the copy of a report that Ruby sent Hugh yesterday morning. Thanks to his cover as a journalist, he's managed to make contact with the suspects. But as yet, he hasn't discovered anything more. He's sure he's found the right people. Ruby thinks that there's much more to this than basic terrorism. The suspects seem to be controlled by some greater power. It isn't clear where their HQ is, but it sounds like some deserted underground tunnel. Shame he went missing before he could find out more. There's a forensic report on the liquid in the tube. And it appears to be a powerful synthesized acid. Probably the same one used to corrode the lab's metal locks during the last terrorist attack. Ruby was due to meet them at 11.30 last night, but it doesn't say where. He also mentions a wristwatch fitted with a hidden microphone, which he'd surely have used if he'd gotten into their base. Something here doesn't quite add up. Hugh's got to give me more information. More, Mr. Ruby. Up to the roof. It's no use. It won't budge. Cool. The acid has corroded the joint. More, Mr. Ruby. To the subway. Hey! You can't get out that way! There's a bomb alert! A suspect device has been found near the station exit. Until the anti-terrorist police give the all-clear, 
They've made it a no-go area. Is it a terrorist attack? What do I look like? Some kind of new service? Beat it! It's a note written by Ruby. It's one of Ruby's letters returned to sender. Hmm. One station is Rot Mile 17 mentioned on Ruby's note. Perhaps I should check it out. Payment confirmed. Please place your thumb on the scanner. Thank you. Subway access expires at midnight. For access to the platforms, place your thumb on the scanners located by the access gates. Union Metro wishes you a pleasant journey. It matches perfectly. The ID number for this fax is PK64768. <coughs> Have you seen this man recently? Jeez, so many faces, I can't remember them all. I got trouble remembering anything when I'm sober. If you get my drift. Hey, pal. Christmas has come early. Thanks. Maybe I can help you out. Ah, I feel better already. What about that photo you talked about? Oh, yeah. I saw this guy last night. He left the station with a woman, but not the one in the photo. Any idea who she was? Hey, I can't remember anything right now. Need to get some sleep. Leave me alone. Still thirsty? How about this? You just saved my life, buddy. If there's anything I can do for you, just name it. Any idea who she was? Ain't got a clue what she's called. But I do know she runs a club, the Free Climax. Okay, thanks for the information. Listen, bud, I'm kind of low on funds right now. I ain't got much to sell, but you can have my skate for ten. Come on, bud, help me out here. It's a snip. Today is your lucky day, pal. Here's ten credits. Thanks, buddy. I'll put this to good use. <laughs> Is this the way in? Sorry, sir. It's members only. No way I can get in? Are you kidding? No card, no entry. Thanks for nothing. I'd better drop it. There's no way I'm getting in without a membership card.
Mildred, I refuse to argue anymore. It's completely stupid. But Jacob, please. Enough already. There's nothing down there. But I heard them, Jacob. Rats. Rats, I tell you. I don't want to go down there again, especially on my own. There are no rats, Mildred. I was down there myself only ten minutes ago. We've had the rat catchers out three times now, and they couldn't find any. Now, please, go down and bring me what I've asked you for. But, Jacob, I... But, Jacob, nothing. What am I supposed to tell Miss Thompson? That her new cocktail isn't ready because of some invisible rats? Don't you realize how stupid this will make me look? I can't let Miss Thompson down. For the last time, please bring me what I've asked you for. Look, Jacob, you'll be responsible if anything happens yes, to me. Yes, yes. All right, Mildred. Whatever you say. Hmm, the benefits of being single. Mind if I take a look around? Please do, but uh, don't touch anything. I'm just preparing a very special cocktail for a very special customer. And if that's not enough, my wife is driving me crazy with stupid rat stories. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have things to do. Excellent. It's a membership card for the free Climax joint. Cool store. I'd like to get something special for a friend. Anything you can recommend? We have a wide choice, but uh, I can't help you. It is uh, illegal to sell alcohol in this city after eight. So what are people supposed to do? Die of thirst? There are plenty of other places to get a drink. Why not take your friend to the free climax? It's right outside. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got things to do. What cocktail are you making? It looks lethal. It is. It's for the owner of the Free Climax Club. Special order. Do you know the owner of the Free Climax? Of course. Eva Thompson. She's one of my most important customers. What's her club like? It's very exclusive. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got things to do. I notice you have a membership card for the Free Climax Club. Wanna sell it? Are you crazy? It's a lifetime membership! <laughs> and it cost me a fortune! It's just a shame that I never get the chance to use it! That's a pity. I'd really like to get in there. You sure you don't want to sell it? No! Now, as you can see, I've got a lot to do and I don't have time to argue. But perhaps, if you bring me a bottle of magnificent Chateau Lafitte 85, then I might consider a swap for the car. Okay, that's done it. But I used the last of the acid. There's a small staircase going down under the liquor store. These bottles sure are dusty. I have an idea it might actually be useful. At least no one can see me doing this. Get your skates on, rat.
Why is it always me having to come down here? Jeez, it worked. Nothing interesting here, and I've no time for a tasting session. I don't think I need this. It's full of bottles, but nothing of interest. Tanks, presumably full of beer. A fine old bottle. Good evening. Union Metro impossible terrorist attack. Downtown tonight, an incident which police describe as serious has resulted in temporary suspension of services on Union Metro lines 15 and 17. A police statement revealed that the problem was due to a derailment, which fortunately appears not to have involved any casualties. It is not known at this point whether this is an isolated incident or the latest in the series of terrorist attacks plaguing the metropolis. Union Metro says that it hopes to restore services to lines 15 and 17 as soon as possible. This is Katrina Lavoie, Inlet News Union. Damn. Guess I'm stuck here for a while. Ah, it's you again. Look around if you want to, but uh, don't disturb me. I've got a lot to do. Don't believe it. Chateau Lafitte 85. Of course. Where on earth did you manage to find it in this city? That's my business. Now, the membership card. Amazing. I really thought that I had the only bottle in Union, but my world is my bond. The card is yours. Thanks. See you around. Hi, here's my card. Satisfied? Yeah, we're not open yet, but I don't suppose there's any harm in you going in now. Hey, we're not open yet. You shouldn't be in here. I'm looking for a friend of mine. The club fills up around midnight. Maybe you'll find him then. Anyway, who are you? Now's the time to see if Hugh's cover works. Joshua Reeve. Well, Mr. Reeve, how come I haven't seen you before? I just got into town. Business or pleasure? Business. Integrated security systems. I'll spare you the details. 
What's the name of this friend you're looking for? Ruby. Simon Ruby. Mean anything to you? No. Nothing. She's lying. You sure? Sure. Never heard of him. Well, you seem a little edgy. The way you're playing with your necklace. What is it? The religious icon? This? Oh no. Not at all. It's just a keepsake. A keepsake? It's a memento of the inauguration of the Union Zoo. My father worked there when I was a child. It reminds me of happier days. Any chance of a tour of the zoo? Maybe I can mix business with pleasure. Sorry, the zoo was never a great success. It was shut down some time ago. The way into it was along the old subway line. When it fell into disuse, the zoo followed the same fate. Look, I've wasted enough time already. I've got things to attend to before the club opens. You sure you haven't seen Simon Ruby? Look, I told you, I can't help you. Okay, but perhaps you know someone who can. Like who? That's just the problem. I don't know who they are. Simon told me he was meeting some people yesterday, but he didn't say who. I've not heard from him since. I'm sure they could help. Help you in what way? Here goes. Make or break time. I think the people he was meeting are connected to the group or are attacking Genesis. And if so, I'd like a piece of the action. I have my own score to settle with Genesis. Look, I don't know who you are, or your friend, Mr. Ruby. I can't help you. But a word of warning, Mr. Reeve. Don't get involved. This Genesis situation is bigger than you think. Hmm. I'll drop by later. But if you see Simon Ruby in the meantime, mention my name. Very well, Mr. Reeve. I'll ask around. But don't expect too much. Thanks. Cool. I think she'll check me out. They've closed everything here. I can't use the subway anymore. Joshua, are you alone? Yeah, Hugh, I need your help. What can I do? I make contact with Eva Thompson. She runs a joint called the Free Climax. Free Climax? Where is it? South Central, near Rot Mall 17 subway station. I've reason to believe that she was with Ruby yesterday, and she's involved somehow. Good start, Joshua. Maybe it's the lead we've been looking for. She's denied knowing Ruby, but she's lying, of course. I'm sure she's checking me out right now. I used my cover to persuade her to put me in touch with the terrorists, and I think something's about to happen. It's just a matter of time. Good. Can I do anything to help you? In the meantime. Everything seems to point to the subway. Ruby's stuff mentioned a deserted tunnel and Eva spoke of a deserted zoo. I have an idea that maybe that's where I should be. Can you send me a map of the subway system? No problem. Have you got a fax number I can use? Q, try PK64768. Okay, give me a few seconds. Right. It's on its way. Thanks. No problem, Joshua. Be careful out there. It seems that near here there's an old passageway that leads to the deserted zoo. Now I must find a way to reach it. It's the map of the subway that Hugh faxed me.
According to the map, the zoo should be along the passageway. But I need to find a way to get over to the opposite side. There's nothing of interest here. Leads, a screwdriver and a socket spanner. It weighs too much. Now the chain has a makeshift hook. According to the map, this is the passageway that leads to the zoo. Right, let's fry this sucker. Damn, the roof has collapsed. I need to get to the other platform to get to the zoo. Bankman stops just beyond these barriers. There's no use.
Welcome to Union Zoo's Egyptology Exhibition. This magnificent structure is a reconstruction of the mystical Sphinx of Giza, situated in Cairo's archaeological area. As well as this magnificent structure at the original site, one can also visit the incredible pyramids of Cheops, Tepra, and... Warning. Technical malfunction in command file. Replace damaged file. Control room access code follows. Use graphic wheels according to standard procedure. Today's code. Under the supreme eye of the father of the gods sits the solar protector of all men. To the right of he who delights in the eternal becoming of his being. Well, at least there appears to be a control room somewhere. I just need to crack the access code. There are three wheels at the base of the statue. The button must be pressed after forming a combination of the symbols. The button must be pressed after forming it. The button must be pr Well, nothing happened. It's the magnet for... Okay, the bar is magnetized. Just ordinary benches. Hmm, I wonder what's behind to open the door. It's no good. It won't turn. The can is empty now. The light switch. 
Doesn't look like the bulb is working. is hot to touch. It's shut tight, but I can see another passageway beyond it. Hey, there's another passageway behind here. This section is on snakes. I hate snakes. There's no way I'm re- This looks very interesting. Interesting. <laughs> it's a book about ancient Egyptology. I've taken the bulb. Very odd. A well. This bulb. I got that combination correct. Color of the nothing happened. Hmm. Color. Hmm. 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 Color of the button has changed.
it's a very narrow... Damn! Mechanical or not, that's a... Okay, I wasted. It's an entrance to the cave. Artificial plants. Plastic as you'd expect. There's a faucet hidden behind here. It's a small... A small pool of fuel as well. I'd better not drink it. Hey, there's a young kid up there. I gotta get up and talk to him. Whatever he's doing, it must be important. He isn't shifting from up there. This rusty old equipment is connected to the sluice. Damn! I hope I didn't waste the kid. It says... Okay, done. Oh. 
Okay, I've poured all the fuel into the tank. Damn! The minicom is busted. It's just spitting sparks now. He had a remote control on him. I'll take that. Cool. I found a set of telescopic pincers. It looks like there's something else in here. Cool. A hologram projector. Damn! It's automatic. It's closed again. Not here. Damn! I've dropped it. I'd probably damage them. It's a hose pipe with a bronze. is off. Ok, 
Okay, done it. Okay, I can bend and twist the pipe. The pipe may... The pipe may have a use. But not for this. The pipe is now attached to the cylinder. is coming out. Damn alarm again! I thought Morgan had fixed it! Don't know what's the matter with the freaking thing. Okay, gotcha. Seems fine now. Morgan had better not be fiddling with me. Interesting. There's a secret passageway in the warehouse. The workman forgot to close it. It's no use. There. By flicking the switch, an electrical current will go to the panel. Never know when someone might need a light. Cool. Now I've got a ready-to-use torch.
I don't believe it. That freaking alarm again. You gotta admit, Jules. Your security system is your greatest triumph. Quit the wisecracks, Morgan. I'm not in the mood. Your stupid games are beginning to tire me. I know this is your doing. Another year of pathetic jokes. So go and switch it off. Look, it's not me. Ah, whatever. But as soon as I've turned it off, I'm going down to the zoo. I'd rather spend some time with Dave. At least he hasn't got a stupid chip on his shoulder. He's out cold. He didn't have anything interesting on him. Okay, done. Okay, done. Jesus! What's happening? What? Not another of that wise-ass Morgan's jokes. I've had it. I'll disconnect the projector and go and teach that geek a lesson. Well, well. A laser gun and a small key. Now I have a security card. Hmm. The computer is still on. There's an open email on the screen. It's a report by some Marcus Sanders concerning a guy called Vizel Moreau. Sanders states he's verified without a doubt that Moreau and Genesis have been linked through the intervention of Martins, for whom Moreau has created a virtual environment. Marcus also states that he's discovered that Moreau's built his own hideout in a private virtual environment which looks like a dark, grotesque, horror amusement park. Marcus came across facts which would seem to indicate that Moreau and Genesis were in it together, working on virtual sensory technology, known as the VST Project. VST Project? Never heard of it. Hmm. Marcus maintains that the project in question is the work of Moreau, who had to turn to Genesis to fund the project or else cease his experiments. It appears that Marcus lost track of Moreau who hasn't been found for weeks. Marcus is convinced that it's imperative to shed light on Martins' involvement in all this, and in finding Martins is his guess that Moreau would be nearby. But just how the hell does Hugh figure in all this? There's been no talk about this Moreau guy or any VST project. I wonder if Hugh's been straight with me. Hmm. 
A piece of paper with some odd stuff on it. It's the sheet that I found. It's one of the secure. It's a secure. Jesus, Ruby. Gunned down like street filth. Hugh was right to think he'd been taken out. I guess this means my own cover is blown. I'll need to get my skates on or I'll be in the next bed to Ruby. Stethoscope? Syringe? Might come in useful. Wait a minute. What's this? It's a medical report on Ruby. Jesus, he isn't dead. He's alive. What the hell have they been doing to him? Two hours following the trauma, his condition deteriorated. And he slipped into a deep, irreversible coma. A vegetative state. Damn. They extracted a bullet from his left lung, but the extent of the damage has meant... A 45% loss of respiratory capacity. His cardiovascular system is severely damaged, too. They've been monitoring him since the shooting. He doesn't look good. I don't understand. The terrorists shot him. Why the hell are they trying to save him? You're wrong, Eva. Everything's going to the dogs. Yesterday's encounter has brought us to our knees, and this place is anything but safe. I'd be prepared to surrender, Al. Hey, wait a minute. That's Eva Thompson's voice. The broad from the Free Climax joint. If we can just get a hold of those documents... I'd like to know how Martin's henchmen managed to find us. Forget that now. We must continue on from where Sanders left off. Looking for something in that damned cyber park. Our numbers are diminishing, and after what happened to Sanders, no one's keen to volunteer to go in there. If only that guy who contacted you at the club hadn't disappeared. You should have tried to persuade him to help us out. I couldn't work out what his purpose was. He was quite vague. Besides, I only spoke to him for a few minutes. When he left the club, I called the bouncer and asked him to shadow him. But he'd already disappeared. Good. They're looking for me. My cover's still intact. It almost seems as though they're the victims, not the cause. Hugh also neglected to tell me about this or any attack on the terrorist base. Looks like I've got no option. Let's hope Lady Luck's on my side. Hey, hold it right there. Twitching your dead meat, punk. Al, relax. Put the gun down. It's the guy from my club, the one I told you about. Hey, easy. I hope I haven't interrupted anything. How'd you find us? And how did you get in? Jules and Morgan should have stopped you. Let's just say they became genuinely alarmed, and besides... I didn't know you'd be here. 
What are you doing here? Eva told me all about you. Perhaps what Eva didn't tell you is that I'm looking for an old friend. But from what I've just seen, it seems I've arrived a little late. I'm sorry about Simon, Joshua, but he wasn't the only one. Stow the apologies, Eva. I want to know what our friend's intentions are. Nothing much to say. Genesis have been after my ass for months now, and I'm tired of running. We should give him a chance, Al. We need all the help we can get after the attack. Look, I don't know you from squad, and I like you even less. But Eva is seldom wrong about people. I trust her judgment. We need friends right now, but I'm watching your every move. We've spent too long, worked too hard to risk blowing this now. Sure, we're after the same thing. We're in the same boat. There's a friend of mine half dead back there. How about explaining that for starters? Look, Ruby was assigned to investigate us by his newspaper and, by a stroke of luck, he managed to find us. It was vital for us to have a link with the media so we could expose Genesis. But yesterday's attack screwed everything up. What attack was this? Our main HQ was hit last night and all our equipment was wasted. It's put us back months. Not to mention losing some good friends dedicated to the cause. Three of our best men lost their lives. Simon's at death's door. And Marcus Sanders, our cyberspace expert, the guy who got us most of our leads, died during transition. If your main base was destroyed, where are we now? This is Morgan's warehouse. We only use it in case of emergency. Which is a relief. I hate the place. Any clue who attacked you yesterday? Probably Martin's men. The results were devastating. Ruby was with us when they burst in, and he took a bullet that was meant for me. We fled in order to salvage what we could. We thought Ruby might make it, so we brought him here. A medical friend of ours tried to save him, but his condition is worsening. Who was Marcus Sanders? Marcus was with us right from the start. He was investigating Moreau and his VST project. But he was killed while he was connected to cyberspace. Who was Moreau? He's an architect of virtual environments developed in cyberspace. From what we've discovered, Martins was one of his first customers. And probably he was the catalyst between Genesis and Moreau. Vassal Moreau would seem to be the creator of the VST project. Which is why he was looking for backers. And he found them in Genesis, right? Yes, but what happened afterwards is a mystery. Some weeks ago, a charred, unidentifiable body was found on the beach in Costa Rica. Moreau, who used to stay at a residence in the vicinity, had disappeared the evening before. The police concluded after no further missing persons report that the body had to be Moreau. You must realize that we are not a terrorist group. We are researchers. We were studying the effects of cyberspace on the human mind, and Marcus Sanders, one of our top researchers, by chance found himself in a bizarre location. A virtual amusement park in a horror setting created by the twisted mind of Moreau. Sanders discovered something there about a mysterious project by the name of VST. From that moment on, strange things began to happen to us. The police refused to investigate. They denied everything. So we decided to begin defending ourselves. And we founded our little organization to investigate Genesis. When we discovered that Genesis had taken over all Moreau's patents after his disappearance, we knew that what we had discovered about VST was much more serious than we had first thought. And, so were our mysterious attackers. We had stumbled into something big, really big. Marcus connected to cyberspace to get a hold of more information on the VST project. But alas, 
How much he saw we'll never know. He was hit while he was still connected, and as he died, he began to make strange gestures. It seemed as if he were writing. I was very near him, and I heard him say, The mirror, the mirror isn't reflective. We have no idea what this means. We haven't enough to nail Genesis yet, and only Moreau and his cyberspace expertise could have given us real proof. What mirror was Sanders talking about? We don't know. But he was visiting that absurd virtual horror park. Have any of you visited Moreau's amusement park? No. Only Sanders had that particular pleasure. Why do you think Martins is involved? Because of his links with Genesis, who sponsored him in the last elections. And besides that, Moreau was a close personal friend of his. In addition, the police closed the file on Sanders' death. It was obvious that there was some kind of cover-up in operation. Someone was turning the screw. Because of this, we needed Simon Ruby's support. He had evidence stolen from Genesis that we could have used to blow the whole thing wide open. So much so that the authorities couldn't just ignore the situation. People are being rubbed out without a moment's hesitation. There's something evil and deadly about this VST project. They're telling the truth. Hugh owes me one hell of an explanation. So, okay, your position is clear. What now? We must follow the trail that Sanders left. We have no option but to reconnect with cyberspace and return to the amusement park. We were hoping that you'd be prepared to lend us a hand, Mr. Reeve. Hey, I need answers myself. Where do I start? I just gotta get Martin's angle on this story. Jesus, I can't believe Hugh has lied to me. Good. Come this way, Mr. Reeve. It's your turn now. Wow, this is incredible.
There's tremendous heat from the lava pool. If I don't get out of here, that could well be me. Nah, he suffered enough. Excuse me? It's used to strike the drum and There's tremendous heat. Jesus, God knows what else lurks in this maze. I wonder what it If I use this
Any harder and I'd knock the bell off. Wow. Okay, now I can have a shot. Lady Luck must be smiling down on me today. It's a thick... The spider has escaped. It's very slimy and sticky. This ought to slow down the targets. I'm not wasting them here. Okay, big shot. That was a cinch. I better collect my prize. Okay, I've got the packet. Here's hoping it stays put. I'm getting dirty. I have no intention of reciting Hamlet.
I had to break it off to get it. Okay, I've got it. I think it's a sleeping drug you get from plants. It says that the mirror is enveloped by the mists of the waters of the sticks. Hmm. Perhaps I shouldn't have put the boiler out. It describes how to make gunpowder with saltpeter, charcoal, and sulfur. In the folklore section, it says that the way to kill a werewolf is with a silver bullet. It also says that werewolf's blood will corrode metal. Weird. Good. I've stopped the jet of water. I don't think you'll get a migraine. There are numbers written on the mirror. Seven, eight, four, five. A shaft would fit. A manuscript. Perhaps my investigation ends here. Jeez, it's packed full of incomprehensible formulae. Hang on, there's something written here. Moreau! Damn, this is Vizel Moreau's diary. It says that the VST project is almost completed. That all it needs is the final checks and he could become the most famous scientist in the world. That his discovery will revolutionize our society forever. Wait though, it goes on. Unfortunately, it appears that the whole process is fundamentally flawed. It seems from new calculations that the degeneration of brain cells caused by VST would be irreversible and fatal within a few months, if not weeks. Moreau now maintains that VST cannot at present be applied to human beings. It's too dangerous. Moreau estimates that it would take at least another two years' research and massive investment to make the process safe and finalize the project. Alas, this is beyond his reach. With his dream fading and somewhat dejected, he finds himself having to cease his experiments. Hmm. Other formulae and notes on breakthroughs. There are notes here about Q. And Moreau seems ecstatic. It looks as though Q has put him in contact with a huge conglomerate, which is prepared to finance his research, enabling further work on the project. Moreau eventually resumed his work, Genesis Cryogenetics Enterprise putting immense finance and resources at his disposal. Whilst Moreau wasn't completely clear about their commercial objectives, Genesis placed great faith in his work, and Moreau responded, happy that he could continue. Here, Hugh Martins is named as a major backer in the project, that VST was saved by Martins. Now Moreau only has to contend with the research times, which he hopes to reduce.
thus delivering working technology much sooner than had been hoped. Pages and pages of feverish scribblings. Moreau's tone seemed somewhat terrified at the end. He says they're all mad, that they're testing the project on humans now and have been for some time. It just isn't ready. They're using a prison island called Rocas Perdida as a research institute. It's off the coast of Mexico and the prisoners are the guinea pigs. It's sick and insane. They must be stopped. Moreau has tried to rebel, but Martins has refused to listen to reason. The financial potential of the technology is too great. Moreau is sure his life is in danger. He says here that there's nothing he can do but try to escape and alert the authorities. He's left this diary in the hope that someone will find it if his escape bid fails. Jesus, I can't believe it. Hugh is a murderer and he's out of control. That bastard has betrayed me. But why did he ask for my help? There's a kind of journal. The address of Hugh's virtual office is underlined. It's risky, but it's the only lead I have to what's happening. I'll use the positioner. Hello, sir. Have you got an appointment? I need to see Hugh immediately. Please let him know I've arrived. Your name, please. Mr. Martins isn't expecting any visitors. Reeve. Joshua Reeve. I'm a personal friend. Sorry, Mr. Reeve, but Mr. Martins is not in his office at the moment. However, please sit down and make yourself at home while I try and find him. It's Philip Papaver. Luckily enough, Papaverine is the same color as Coco. Okay, I've got the pistol and bullets. Damn, I think I overdid it. Okay, it's floating. Cool, the coin is melting. Jesus, that was lucky. The ball almost fell into the ravine. Okay, now I've got a silver bullet.
Okay, done. <laughs> Here's hoping it stays put. Okay, I've got it. Okay, done. Okay, done. There's little point in that. Okay, done. Take that, Wolfman. <laughs> I kicked his virtual ass. The lid is airtight. Jesus, it really burns. It's a memo. 3.30 p.m. Dentist appointment. Okay, I only found a slide. Interesting, strange red signs in six blue boxes. I wonder what it means.
Hmm. A slide projector. Very elegant, but I wonder what these six symbols represent. Interesting, strange red signs in six blue boxes. I wonder what it means. It's the one I It's touch screen active. Let's see what I can find on here. Ah, here we are. Some email between Martins and the head of Genesis. Martin says he's wiped one of the researchers belonging to the group who has discovered information about VST. To eliminate risk, Q also arranged for this guy's brother to suffer a similar fate. Jesus, this isn't the end, there's more. Let's look at another email. Martins is covering up another strategic elimination. But he fears the researchers have realized they're being tracked. And are attempting to organize some kind of resistance factor. Ha! Huh. So Eva and Al were straight up. It is Martins all along. In another mail, Martins apologizes for the problems and financial loss that the rebels are causing Genesis. But assures that the trouble will be dealt with very shortly. Another mail mentions that Simon Ruby, one of his best agents, has managed to infiltrate them, and that before very long the problem will be resolved once and for all. Ruby has succeeded in providing the coordinates for the secret base. The terrorists are done for. It's absurd. This is Martins' report on the Blitz on Al's base. The worm is complaining that some of the rebels got away. He says Simon lost his life in the attack as well, but he harbors no regret. After all, it's one witness less. Moreover, Martin seems satisfied he's managed to destroy most of their equipment. And believes they no longer have a safe place from which to direct their plot against Genesis. As far as he's concerned, their defeat is only a matter of days away and their threat minimized. Damn! I mentioned in this one that for safety's sake he's contacted an agent with whom he worked in the services a guy named Reeve that I'd do as he asked because I'm convinced I owe my life to him what? he says I'd lay my life down to repay the debt but wonders how I'd react if I knew that saving my life was a fluke a pure accident if the plane I was flying hadn't been laden with drugs he would have let me burn in hell Drugs? The bastard, he's using me. Martins is apparently expecting a report from me at any time. He's sure to learn where the terrorists are hiding. Going on to say that he'll be at the Rockers Perdita all day tomorrow. He'll monitor the finalization of the experiments personally. Since that old fool Moreau is increasingly reluctant to carry on. Rockers Perdita. So that's where you're hiding.
Well? I found Moreau's diary. Good. What did it contain? Well, put it this way. All your suspicions were well-founded. I've also found the address of Martins' virtual office. I've been investigating him as well. Also, I have reason to believe that Moreau is still alive. Martins is behind the murders which have decimated your group. And he's also heavily involved in the whole VST affair. Everything that's happened to date is part of his and Genesis' twisted plans. This nailed him forever. We've got him. Not quite, Eva. All I found are files in a virtual world. Martins and Genesis can still get away with it. We haven't enough proof yet. Joshua's right, Eva. We need better evidence. Well, the time has come to get that proof. People are paying for this VST madness with their lives. We have to get to the island base where Martins is hiding. Sorry, I doubted you, Reeve. What's our next move? We must get to the prison of Brockers Perdita off the coast of Mexico. That's where they're holding Professor Moreau and carrying out their barbaric experiments. Okay, Eva. You go with Joshua and prepare the shuttle for the trip. Meanwhile, I'll work on a map of the prison from our limited databases. We'll meet on board. It seems that the prison is subdivided into sections. One of these, C, could be reached by going through an old pipeline to the east of the island. Eva and I will try to get into section B. You try the pipeline into section C. Our way is blocked by a high power security fence, which surrounds the prison complex. Once you've got in, you'll have to find a way of shutting it down. You'll need to use a parallel cutter. An instrument which simulates the voltage passing through the cable to which it's attached. It only works for a few seconds. But it's our only hope. We'll need to keep in touch with these wrist comms. All clear? As a bell. I know we need to find Professor Moreau. But shouldn't we work out an escape plan in case something goes wrong? If anything goes wrong, There'll be no point in running. Just start shooting. The turtle's tracks head out towards the ocean. The turtle's tracks head out towards the ocean. Hmm. It's laid some eggs. Eat it, Buster. Jesus, I can't believe some of the stuff I have to do.
I have to be careful not to slip. The conduit goes uphill and it's hard to grip. Damn, the laser charge is exhausted. It's now closed, but the slightest knock will open it again. Difficult enough climbing up the conduit when it was dry. Now it's wet and soapy, it'll be impossible. What's that noise? What the hell's going on? Jesus, who the hell are you? A worthless soul. I used to be a brilliant scientist. Now I'm shot. Worthless. Hey, wait a minute. Are you Vizel Moreau? Yes, and you are? Oh, it's a long story. But you only need to know that I'm here to get you out safely. Out? To where? There's only the ocean outside. The physical torture is bad enough. Please, don't start with mental torture. I know you people are trying to get me to break down, but I refuse to willingly join in with your sick games. You've got it wrong, Professor. My name is Reeve. I'm working with an organization that wants to blow Genesis and its sick plans into the open. I know something about the VST project, too, but not much at this stage. How come you know about all this? Your diary, Professor. I found it in the virtual amusement park. My diary? Very well. I'll do what I can to help, but I'm afraid I can't offer much. Some colleagues are waiting for me. To find a way through to Section B. Once we've regrouped, we'll be able to get you out. Oh, I'm touched by your resolve. But there's a fence with 100,000 volts running through it, completely surrounding the prison. It's absolutely impossible to get in, and even more so to get out. I agree that it's an interesting problem. Just cooperate and we'll get you out of here as soon as we can. How the hell can we get the keys to your cell door? The prison governor has them. He usually carries them with him. And when he doesn't, I presume he keeps them in his office in Section B. You can get to it by going through the door directly behind you. I believe that there's some sort of numeric code required to open it. Does the governor often visit your cell? Every morning. He takes me to the lab and waits until I've finished carrying out the experiments. Then he brings me back to the cell when I'm done. I'm never left alone, at least not for long. Where's the laboratory? It's behind a security-coded door in the guardroom, opposite the laundry. Any clues about the security code? No, but each key on the pad makes a specific tone. The governor always opens it in my presence. I never actually see what he's doing. 
but I can hear the tones of the keypad clearly enough. And they obviously don't change it very often. I know the tone sequence by heart. Who is the governor? I've no idea, but he's one sick puppy. His twisted mind takes pleasure from the horrific experiments I'm forced to carry out. The worse their pain, the more pleasure he gets. I've seen him writing weird stuff on the lab blackboard, too. Do you know the sequence for the door behind me? Sorry, I've never seen it or heard it be opened. Don't forget, Professor. Keep calm. That's easy for you to say. Al, can you hear me? Loud and clear. I found Vizel Moreau. Is he with you? No, I can't get him out of his cell without the keys. The plan to enter Section B is in tatters. There seems no way in. The security is too tight. What about that pipeline you used to get in? No use. I had to use it to give one of the guards the slip. The only way of getting the cell keys is by going through Sector B. Moreau says that the governor's office is around there and that the keys are there. Once we have them, we only have to open the door which separates Block C from B. One of the doors is coded. And we believe the governor's is too. Okay, we'll stick to the original plan. It's tricky, so be as quick as you can. Cool it. I'm going as fast as I can. Okay, got it. Cool. I've got the audio visuals of the key panel on film. Here, Professor. I managed to record the sounds of all the keys on the keypad on the security door. Yes, very good. Uh, let's listen to it once more. Four, four, six, six, seven, seven. Nice one, Professor. I'll check it out. Great. It worked. Thank God Moreau was alive. Okay. Done. It's obviously ciphered math stuff. Damn, there are three identical cables in here. You hear me, Al? I hear you, Joshua. We've got a problem. Another? Great. I managed to open the panel and there are three cables. We've got a problem. I'm not sure which is the correct one to cut. 
We have to be sure. We can't risk the parallel cutter. We've only got one. And if you mess up, me and Eva are toast. So what do you suggest? You simply have to find a way of identifying the right cable. We'll just sit tight until you're ready to proceed. Okay, I'll get back to you. Two hundred and twenty volts. Two hundred and twenty volts. One hundred thousand volts. Al, you receiving? Copy that, Joshua. What's new? Well, I'm ready to cut the current on the security fencing. Fantastic. We're ready. Just give us the all clear when it's down. Okay. Careful, though. You won't have long to get past the net. I'll only be able to take it down for a short while before they restore power. Fine. On your signal, we'll run for it. Okay. Now! Joshua! We're through! We made it! Great. Anyone see you? There was a guard nearby, but we don't think he saw us. We're going inside the prison. All clear. We've crossed into the canteen and kitchen. We're into the corridor, which leads to Sector C. There's a sliding door right at the end. It must be the coded one you mentioned. Al, Moreau thinks the governor's office is around there somewhere. There are two doors, Joshua. We'll try the first door. Okay. We're inside the first room. It's empty. It's an office, but it's deserted. We're wasting time here. We'll try the other door. This has to be it, Joshua. There's no doubt. This is the governor's office. Great. Grab anything useful and get out quick. There's a satellite communication system here. Eva's found some kind of code and a set of keys. Well, well. To what do we owe the pleasure of your company? Martins, you murdering bastard. You won't get away with it. And who's going to stop me, you naive fool? You? No, Al! Martins, you bastard! Governor, call the guards. We're sealing this place. No one else must enter or leave. Yes, sir. What about the woman? Lock her up, but place an armed guard outside. I'm not taking any risks. You got it. I'll take great pleasure in interrogating her later. But first, get on the SAT system and call for reinforcements from Genesis. As you wish, sir. Guard, remove that body from my office floor. Yes, sir. There's an iron grill here. The wind is blowing across the prison towards the isolation cells. I can see the deserted courtyard inside the prison. I can see the deserted courtyard inside the prison.
Eva, can you hear me? Joshua? Yes. Joshua, Al, he's... I know. Sorry. I heard everything. Martins will pay with his life. It's over, Joshua. Al is dead, and I'm stuck in here. Don't worry about me. Try and save yourself. Get out while you can! Relax. All is not lost, Eva. If we manage to get the Professor out, they're screwed. He's exactly what we need to expose Genesis. I found something that I think might be some sort of code. But I can't get it to you from here. I can't risk losing it through the window. You can pass me the code through your cell door. It's no good. There's a guard right outside. Can't you deal with him? They've taken my gun. I've nothing to use. Face it, Joshua. I'm dead meat. I'll try and get something to you. As soon as I'm ready, I'll signal. Joshua, I implore you to get out while you can. They're sure to find you soon. A thermometer and some dental floss. Now they look like two balloons. Okay, done. Okay, done. Okay, done. Eva, can you hear me? Yes, Joshua. What is it? I've got something that might just work. It's a poisonous syringe. Inject the guard with it and the game's over. All you need to do is to get him close to the door panel. It's very risky. If I fail... Look, we have no other option and time is short. Don't worry. Just be ready to grab the wire that will pass your cell window. Okay, Joshua. Ready as I'll ever be. Guard! Guard! What's the problem, baby? Room service not up to scratch? Look, I've been thinking. I'll cooperate. I don't want to die. I've got the location of the Rebels base written here. Can you take it to Martin's before he decides my time is up? I think Martins was looking forward to interrogating you personally. Then you'll know what pain is. Look, please, help me. Martins might reward you, if you tell him that it was you who persuaded me to cooperate. Please, what have you got to lose? I'll do anything. Anything? Okay. Let me have a look at the note first. Then we'll discuss your forfeit. Ugh. What have you done? You'll find out soon enough, you gullible bastard! Uh, I can't! Joshua! I've done it! He's collapsed! I think he's dead! Cool. I'm coming in. Hurry! The others might have heard the commotion! No cell keys, but at least I'm tooled up again. Eva, the code, at once. Here it is. It was in the governor's desk. Hmm. I've seen these symbols somewhere before. Whatever the code, it's not going to be easy to decipher it. It's the governor's...
Joshua! How the hell did you manage to get in here? The game's up, Hugh. You screwed me around once too often. You're crazy! What are you talking about? Cut that crap, Hugh. Innocents have been killed. The murdering stops here. I know all about VST. Jesus! I've invested a fortune in this. If it hadn't been for that idiot Moreau and his lack of balls, VST would be operational by now and I'd be a very rich man. You're insane, Martins. VST is flawed, and you know it. Look, Joshua, I know how this must seem to you, but you're wrong. What if I was to swing it so that you got a nice little slice yourself, huh? What about 20%? It's a considerably large cake, my friend. I'm not hungry. Jesus H. Christ, Joshua! I saved your life, remember? You can't do this to me! You owe me! Cut that crap, Hugh. That bird was drug running. It was the cargo that was important, not me. For all those years, your sick mind had a hold on me, but no more. The only thing I owe you, old friend, is a bullet. Look, Reeve, I I'll give you 30%. Well, 40 if you want. 30 or 40 is what they'll give you if you're a good boy. The game's up, Hugh. You can shove your blood money, Martins. Joshua, you did it! There's no time to lose. Go to the governor's office and use the communication system before it's too late. Martin's called for reinforcements, and it won't be long before this place is crawling with Genesis men. And as soon as we get the facts out in the open, they'll scatter like the cowards they are. Go. I'll get Moreau and join you. This is Katrina Lacroix with the news at 7. Just in, Union City Governor Hugh Martin was arrested earlier this morning following allegations of his involvement in an underground research project involving human experimentation. This project is alleged to have involved human fatalities. Martins is now in custody awaiting trial and an urgent inquiry into his company, Genesis, is now underway. We cross now to Rocus Perdita, where Martins is being held. Welcome to Rocas Perdita, where police are still searching for the man who is responsible for bringing Martens to justice. A man to whom much is owed. Maybe I'll call Eva when the dust has settled. But right now, I need some sleep. <laughs>